It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap, show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K-Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes, tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang lang hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the Brew Review, so we gonna party all night. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Let's go. It's the Brew Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brew Review. Alright, what's going on guys and gals? And we are back for yet another fine edition of the Brew Review. And what we got for you today is another Pennsylvania beer. We're in the Pennsylvania series, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we went, what? From Gettysburg, Harrisburg, to Philly, to Chambersburg, and now we're in Latrobe. Yeah, Latrobe, Pennsylvania, for Pennsylvania-style lager. Yeah, and you can see we got it in the can tonight. You got the wide mouth, the tab. It's in a maroon and silver color with the state right there. Lager. Barcode. You got your government warning. You should not drink when you're pregnant. No fucking shit, Sherlock. So, welcome to episode 165 of the Brew Review. Hey, and how's it going, everybody? Consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery. I call that a channel. Put me in a fucking shitter car in a closed course, and I will prove you wrong. Yeah. Pennsylvania style. But do not lager. drive like that on public roads. That's PSA. This, uh, my, my lovely wife actually suggested that I get this because it's cheap, and it's Pennsylvania style, which we're showing PA Pride for this month. Would it be kind of like your Lion's Head budget beer? Uh, yes, I believe so. It was, it only comes in cans, as far as I know. So there's no bottles of this stuff? No bottles that and I know I don't know. There, there really isn't anything that says about content either, like how, how strong it is. Um, I have tried this before. I would say borderline average, like five. Four or five. I don't know why they got a ship on the label when, they're, when PA's not near really any water. Not unless that re represents Lake Erie. Of course, now the question is, perhaps a future episode Battle of the Brews, Pennsylvania-style lager versus England. Hmm. Question for another time, perhaps. But we're going to try Pennsylvania-style lager to see if it's any different than England. So, um, as tradition, as usual, yeah. we're going to do the opening of the, cap, the can test, can. body head test, Drink test, draft test, I almost fucked that up, and all that good stuff. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's. So, let's. Yeah. So, we did it good with the tab. Let's see if we can do it again with this. We'll go double header. Nice. Yeah, nice pop, people. In stereo. Yeah, buddy. Oh, fuck. It kind of foamed in my nose. I hope y'all saw that. He got white foam on his nose. You jealous? Not really. Well, I really can't pinpoint it. it. It really doesn't have a strong no, smell. No, but the best part about having the tr the three dollar fifty cent tripod is we can do double try. So cheers, fuck face. Cheers. Pennsylvania Old Mill. You think? It's budgety. It is budgety. How much was it, may I ask? Uh, I believe it was only like 13, 14? Yup, it definitely has an old mill taste. Because Lion's Head in Play Cans... Lion's Head in Cans is only 13. Yeah, if you want a local beer that's cheap, go to this. And it's not bad either. No, it's really good. It kind of... Puts me in the mind of, yeah, Matt, if you're watching, you'll like this. It's kind of like a PA PBR. Maybe. Kind of like, you know, um, localized PBR. Let's, uh, let's body head it and see how it is. Very light. Very, very light. Very light. This is the first time I've tried it in a, in a glass. Usually I've only had it in the can. So maybe this is a can-only beer. Wow. But there is no carbonation. You can see right fucking through Wow. It. Can you see my face, people? <laughs> can you see which finger I'm holding up? That is a light lager. Very light, but the head is kind of staying. Mm -hmm. You see, it was a centimeter. It's kind of getting smaller. 
we'll do the measuring test. We kind of forgot to do that in the past, what, couple months? Yeah, we are at, I would say, a little less than a half. Well, it's getting smaller now. So oh, uh -huh. yeah. So. That's what she said. We're up. Swirl it. It smells different to me. I don't know if it's just the previous beers we've had or what, but... For the fact we're drunk. Kind of too. I'm not gonna lie, I am drunk right now. But, but we need it. We haven't done this since season one. You can definitely chug that. Here, you chug it. I'll finish the can. It smells no different. Like I said, I believe this was thirteen bucks a case. I got the thirty case, the thirty can case. Oh, so you get like a case and a quarter. Yeah, um, I believe it's, it's, it's down here. Yeah, 30, it also comes in 24, but this is also, this is a 30 pack. Uh, but budget beer. Definitely what you call budget beer. Like your Lion's Head, uh, what, what else? You know, is I kind of sort of, you know, yeah, I kind of sort of classify this as like a local old mill. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of this shit until tonight, but it's not bad. They they also do, uh, I believe, a light lager. But seeing this in a glass, uh, oh, I'm kind of interested to see what a light version of this is. Because this so, doesn't say light. No, they make a light lager though. So. Seeing how light this was in a glass, I'd like to see what the light lager looks like. Probably water. Probably. That'd be like doing Michelob light. Can you believe yeah. they make a light version of that? <laughs> Michelob Ultra Light. We're going to try that sometime. Yeah, we could probably drink a whole case and not even that, freeze us. It might as well just be like smart water. Hi, Tina! Hi, Tina! Hi! Michelob Ultra! So what would you give... Uh, Windshield washer fluid. What would you give Pennsylvania style lager? Hmm. Well, it definitely ranks high on cheap price. Mm hmm. So if you're desperate to have a few drinks after a hard day's work and your boss pissing you off, go and, to it. And you don't have that much money to spend. Yeah, because they haven't given you a raise in three years. <laughs> because they're being bastards. Um, yeah, as far as just being. You a, rack your mind on computer shit, it's fried and you're not paying enough for it. Yeah, as oh, sorry, far, I'm just ranting. As far as being just a budget beer, um, I'm still drinking it. And he's still drinking it. I'm going to give it a four. It's, when I go to a lager, I'm not probably going to choose this one. If I had a choice between Yingling and this, I'd probably go Yingling. It has more of a taste. Yeah, I think lager, I think Yingling, but I, you know... When you see lager on this and you taste it, it's kind of disappointing. I I, mean, I wouldn't I call this. But I would not call this a lager. I would call it a pilsner. Yes, it, it does have more of a lion's head pilsner taste. You're right. I would call this more of a pilsner beer, not a lager. It because it's nowhere near as dark. And like you said, we're from PA, so when we immediately say lager in a bar. They pour you a yingling, no matter what. Not this. No. Fucking yingling. That, that's one thing in Pennsylvania. Like Sometimes all through the East Coast, you see lager, they're pouring you a yingling, no matter what. You know something? I kind of sort of tried that in Indy when I was on my business trip. If you saw those videos months ago, and they didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. Yingling? What the fuck is what, Well, uh, okay, I'll tell you this. They knew what yingling was out there. But they couldn't get it yet. They didn't have it. But they're two hours away from getting it. They they said they'll be bringing it out here in another year or two in, y in Indy. They're two hours away from bringing it, and they're going to get it next year. What I mean by that is the last place I saw Yingling on that trip was in Dayton, Ohio. Ah, you go two hours west two to hours Indy, away. they do not have it. Is so once you cross to Indiana, I think the furthest we saw it was, what, Memphis? I think so, yeah. And then once you cross into Arkansas, they don't have it. So pretty much those of you west of the Mississippi, you're fucking missing out. Yeah. Youngling. Boy, we're getting off topic here with this beer. Youngling hasn't gotten yet. Yeah, we're talking about Youngling. We're definitely going to do a battle of the brews eventually with this. PA style lager and Yingling lager. 
It's not going to be as close as Sam Adams and Yingling, I'll tell you that. I think your brother would slug this whole case. Oh, yeah. It's, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I like it, but I wouldn't call it a lager. I'd call it a Pilsner. I think. I don't know. It's just, I'm confused by the taste. It's just, I'm not knocking it, but it's it's almost deceiving when you think about it. Well, considering how much we've done tonight, we've shot how many? Six videos in one night. Which well, we started off on episode one fifty nine, and we're at one sixty five right now. We so haven't we haven't done one of these in a long time. Like we're one probably in the snow freezing our balls off as you're watching this right now. But yet it's the dead of summer here as we're taping this. Yeah, it's ninety degrees out. I love it. I'd have sex with it. No, I'm just kidding. Seventy five, eighty for me. I can deal with ninety over zero below. Well. Yeah, that's just because you have a, a hatred for cold. But anyway. Yes, because it broke my ankle. I'm still drinking. Yeah, he's still drinking. He doesn't pound his like I do. Well, I pour mine in the glass. You don't pound what? I, I, don't, I don't pound beer. Well, I do pound beer sometimes. You stick your dick in the bottle? No! None of that. That'd be weird. We're going to go back watching this months from now and laugh her balls off. I won't. I will. <laughs> oh, yeah, you will. You almost done. I, I find everything funny. Are, are you almost done? There's about that much. Oh, and the cat hair on the bottom. He has a pussy hair on the bottom. <laughs> done. All right. So, did you give your rating? Well, I'm going to say three and a half. Three and a half? Yeah. I said four. That's okay. You said three and a half? It's uh, dece. It's not a longer, though. No. Uh. But, yeah, it was good. I would say, I would rank it right there with PBR and Old Mill. It's it's kind of in that category. It ain't America. It's just Pennsylvania. <laughs> and it's aluminum, so which means it's recyclable. Sure, it's not aluminum. No, it's... Not cinnamony either. As we're filming this, we just released uh, the Blue Moon Horchata one, and he made up the new word cinnamony. I did, didn't I? Yeah. And you saw a cat fight on that video. It's it's it's, it's so much more cinnamony. I made that up. Yeah, but this Pennsylvania stuff. All right, so we are drunk, and I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Brewview, featuring Pennsylvania Lager from Latrobe, PA, and distributed in Wisconsin. Uh, yeah. It's weird. It's Pennsylvania-style lager distributed in Wisconsin. I hope some big box motherfucker didn't take this on and, you know... Well, Latrobe, so... Could have been Rolling Rock, but they're not... I don't know. It's weird. Alright, so, we're kind of getting off track. We're gonna move on to next week, and... Yeah, we'll see you later at the Brewview, and peace out.